in Canada, every woman has a right to a safe and legal abortion. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is affirming his support of a woman's right to choose in this country after a leaked draft opinion revealed abortion rights in the U.S. are under threat. In the draft, a majority of Supreme Court justices argue the Constitution makes no reference to abortion. Therefore, access should be up to the states. The difference in the United States is that criminal law is a state by state measure. So not only are the states now going to regulate the health procedure, but they can impose a criminal ban. No individual province could ban abortion on criminal law grounds. I'd like to call on Dr. Henry Morgenthaler to speak. Here in Canada, the Supreme Court decriminalized abortion in 1988. A freely chosen abortion is not a crime. Ruling the existing law was unconstitutional, but no government has put in legislation to replace it. We don't have a, a Supreme Court of Canada decision that formally enshrines an abortion right, but I think it would be impossible for a court now to uphold any criminal regulation of abortion if, in the, if there was this unlikely effort to, to try to do that and it got up to the Supreme Court. In the last election, the Liberals promised regulations to address unequal abortion access outside urban areas, including regulating access under the Canada Health Act. Those promises have not yet been fulfilled. I also tasked our Minister of Health and a Minister of Wage and, uh, Women and Gender Equality, uh, Ministers Duclos and Ian, uh, in their mandate letters to look at the legal framework that exists uh, around reproductive health and services like abortion. They are working on this issue right now. And Monday's leak demonstrated that this is an at issue that matters to Canadians as well. So the Liberals say you guys are hiding on the issue of abortion. What do you say? I don't listen to Liberals. What do you think of your party saying they don't want to comment on Grover? I'll wait for the decision of the court. The Conservative caucus, which is divided on the issue, has been told to keep quiet on the U.S. draft decision, but some members are still speaking out. There are some MPs who want to revive that subject, but for us it's, uh, it's dead, and uh, so uh, we hope that the new leader will, will put a, a nail on that, uh, on that subject. As for the NDP leader, Jagmeet Singh said today that he agrees with the idea of being vigilant about protecting abortion, but what's the point in having a right, he says, if you cannot access that right? One thing Singh suggests the Liberals could do now is expand access to contraceptives as part of a national pharmacare plan. Karen Seolin, City News.